Police, prosecutors, and preachers all coming together to fight gang violence in the River City and across the country. Jacksonville is hosting the Group Violence Intervention Conference. It's part of the National Network for Safe Communities and a way to discuss strategies to reduce shootings and murders. News for Jack's anchor and reporter Vic Michelucci hosted this morning's session and tells us that former gang members gave their input on trying to make streets safer. A uh, full agenda here from this three-day conference, which wraps up tonight. You know, I talked to the organizers, and they say that this was a huge success. It's their first time doing it, but they had more than 250 participants from over 20 different cities for one cause, to cut down on gang violence. Now, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Andre T. Mitchell used to be part of the problem in New York City. As a child, I had a very, you know, um, troubling life. Besides being homeless and in foster care, he witnessed domestic violence within his own family. He says he joined a gang for protection and camaraderie. Most people that are involved in street life, um, that they have their unresolved traumas that they haven't addressed. Now he's part of the solution, one of many presenters at the Group Violence Intervention Conference, meeting with our area's top police, prosecutors, and preachers. we got to empathize with each other to know that we're still out here on the battlefield. As part of our Solutionaries series, we showed you Pastor Garland Scott's work. He and a team identify at-risk youth and literally knock on their door to give them options to get out of gang life and violence. We have a group that population is called. They're not bad, they're not good, but they're right on the verge and we can still help them. At this morning's award ceremony... The crowd celebrated the victories. Members of our community honored for their compassion and concern, identifying those who need help most and giving them a chance at a better life. There have been 107 recorded homicides in Jacksonville in 2023 and hundreds more shootings. But Sheriff T.K. Waters believes despite these numbers, his agency and its partners are making a difference. Is it working? Uh, I think it is. But when you... Take a shooter and you turn him around. That means we've made an impact. And since we started running these stories, we have heard from members of the community that maybe want to get involved or get their children signed up. There is a number to call within JSO. It's 630-2500. Also, we're going to post that on our website, news4jacks.com. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. All right, and take a peek. Scan this QR code. It's on your screen right now. Scan this, and you'll be able to watch our full solutionary story on Pastor Scott and his team's visits to homes of at-risk youth. You'll also be able to hear from a young man who turned his life around after shooting someone in Jacksonville.